Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Enchantment Solution plugin. This is a really fantastic plugin which adds GUIs, loads of commands and makes it really easy to enchant stuff. So let's start with the simplest command for slash enchant. This allows you to apply an enchantment to any weapon you're holding. And let's just go with sharpness 4 for this and if we look at our sword it now has sharpness 4. What you can also do is an unsafe enchantment using this command, so let's just add angler, for example, angler 10, make sure you spell it correctly, and that will give you a random enchantment to a sword, which is not very helpful, but you can do it if you want. So what else can we do? Well, we can obviously remove enchantments if we don't want it anymore, so if you do remove enchant followed by the enchantment you don't want, that will get rid of the angler enchantment and then if we were to type sharpness that's going to reset it and it is now unenchanted. Another thing we can do is enchant info that will give us a list of all the enchantments in chat and a little bit about each of them and you can click through all the different pages to read through whatever enchantment you want to uh, find out about. And then you can do forward slash es book followed by someone's username and the enchantment that you would like to get as a book form and then the power of it. So that's going to give me a book in my inventory that I could use. So the next cool thing is the GUI. So if you right click an enchantment table it now has a very cool GUI. So you've got the different levels up at the top and what you can do is put in up to four items which is very cool and it will tell you the requirement for each so level, lapis and how many will be taken and then what different enchantments you might get. So what we're going to do, we are going to just click one of them at random, that gives us knockback. And then if we were to click an anvil, another GUI pops up. You can obviously change the name of a sword or improve the condition of it if you want to. And then if we go to a grindstone, you can pop it in here and you can actually remove the enchantments if you didn't want to use the command or didn't have permission. So there we go. If we went to an enchantment table that is surrounded by books, now you have access to every single level. So you can see there are tons of different books and levels to choose from, different requirements, and you can get some really powerful enchantments on your weapons and tools if you want. So let's take a look. Let's uh, see what we got. So we've got XP share, sharpness, fortune, and those look pretty good to be honest, so I'm pretty happy with those. So there's another cool feature, if you do 4 slash ESRPG this will give you a GUI showing every single enchantment, it will show ones that you have uh, leveled up, and what you can do if you're not op like me, you can actually level these up, um, you can see all of my levels are in the millions because I'm obviously the op of the server and it won't work for me, but your other players could go into each enchantment, level them up and see which ones they've unlocked and whatnot. So there's a couple more useful commands if you do 4 slash ES fix that will fix any items that were broken by other plugins and then ES config will actually allow you to edit the config in game. Now personally I wouldn't recommend this I like to go actually into the config myself and tweak with it rather than doing it in game but if you want to you could make small changes using this method so that's pretty cool. So that is a quick look at what you can do in the game let's head over to the config file and see what we can do in there. So here we are in the SM Pitney control panel and as you can see there's actually quite a few files. So we've got the language folder up here that has your different languages in that you can choose from. The main area you want to go is config.yml so let's take a look in there. And then what we're going to see is stuff to do with the enchantment table, the anvil, the grindstone, various settings that you can turn on and off. So do you want to actually use the GUI that we saw in game? Uh, then the level 50, do you want to use that system, yes or no? Does lapis need to be in the table? Uh, does it reset on reload? Same thing goes for the anvil, there's a few different things like max repair level, cost, damage, rename, yes or no, do you want all that good stuff? Scroll down and max enchantments, so is there a limit on how many different enchantments a player can put on a single item? Uh, do you want to use enchanted books or legacy enchantments, yes or no? Scroll down even more, there's a little bit about villagers and the language you're actually using. And then there's various other things like on the login do you want them to show a wiki link and then do you want high level enchantments to appear on mobs, fishing and in chests in various different places. So if we have a look at a couple of the other files we've got hard.yml, this is a tiny file, it's got one line and do you want the plugin to allow a health increase with certain enchantments, yes or no. And the other main file we want to look at is the enchantments.yml. So in here you can see a variety of enchantments. So if we look at Frostwalker example, you can see is it enabled, yes or no, the different locations that you can find it, so mob loot and village trade, etc. Uh, scroll down and you need permissions to do various levels. So there's a ton of stuff you can do. It's a really massive plugin. You can go through all the different enchantments if you really wanted to. 
And then if we were to look at the language.yml, surprise, surprise, you could change all of the different language and text that comes up, but this is all fine how it is, I wouldn't recommend touching this. So that is a quick look at the config file, pretty self-explanatory, you can make tweaks and changes, enable and disable certain features, but I wouldn't recommend it, I think it's really cool how it is and a really good plugin. So here we are on the Smigit page, you can see it's updated from 1.13 to 1.16. The most important thing is it requires Crash API plugin to function, so if you don't have that, it's not going to work. Download that as well as this plugin, both are free and then the plugin will work great for you. If we scroll down, you can see there is a spoiler for all the different enchantments. You can scroll down even more, find out about the anvil, grinding, enchantment table. There's a ton of stuff in this plugin, it's absolutely massive. It also supports various other uh, plugins like Auction House and MCMMO, which is great. Here's a link to the wiki um, if you didn't get it in game, and here are all the other commands and permissions. It is absolutely huge. It's a fantastic plugin, great developer. And if you have any feedback, questions, or concerns, you can go to the Discord and ask away over there, and I'm sure they'll be able to help. And that is the plugin. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.